Hi everybody, this is Jennifer. Today I'm going to take you through a very beginner math class. This is Jill, she's going to help me demonstrate. So let's go ahead and start by lying all the way down on your mat, let your legs go long, let your palms flip to face up to the ceiling, feel your shoulders relax and glide down your back, feel your chest open up to the ceiling, and go ahead and start by taking a deep inhale through the nose, and then exhaling all that air out through the mouth. Again, inhale fully, and then exhale completely. One more time, breathe in through the nose, and then exhale all the air out through the mouth. And when you're ready, draw your knees into your chest, place your hands on your shins, and feel your biceps pull the knees in towards you just a little bit. Now go ahead and lift the head and bring your chin to your chest. So you're looking into your navel. Your arms go long by your side, your arms are reaching long, your fingers are reaching towards the wall in front of you, and then let your legs find a challenging position. So that could be a tabletop position as you press the legs towards each other or lengthening your legs long. Good, so wherever you are right now, go ahead and start pumping your arms up and down for the hundred. Take an inhale through the nose, and then exhale all your air out through the mouth. Again, in through the nose, and then exhale out. So think about breathing in for a count of five, and exhaling out for a count of five. So that's in two, three, four, five, and exhale out two, three, four, five. All while your abdominals are pulling in and up and your legs are actively hugging that center line. Your shoulders are gliding down your back and you're using your lats to pump the arms up and down. Again, in through the nose and exhale all the air out through the mouth. Let's do three more breaths in and then exhale out. Good, use that exhale to really help draw the navel towards the spine, pulling the abs in and up. Last time in, and then exhale out. So go ahead and stop your pumping, keep reaching your fingers long, keep deepening the abs, maybe curl up a little higher from your abs, and go ahead and bring your knees into your chest, lower your head down, and then take a moment to rock back and forth, just from side to side. Massage your lower back nice and gently. And then when you're ready, bring your chin to your chest, rock yourself up to a seated position. Good. So for the half roll down, your knees will stay bent, your feet will stay planted on the mat. Your hands go right underneath your knees, your elbows are nice and wide. So make sure your hands are very light under your knees. Your chin comes to your chest, your navel draws to your spine, and you round back to so you're on your sacrum. Good, now you'll take an inhale, round yourself back, your feet stay on the mat, and on the exhale, you'll round yourself forward over your thighs. Good, again, take a deep inhale, keep your navel pulling towards your spine as you round it back, and on the exhale, you'll come forward. Good, remember your fingertips are very lightly underneath the knees as you round back. Use your abdominals, not your hands, to come forward on the exhale. Let's do three more. Again, inhale, make sure that chin stays tucked and then exhale, round it forward. All while those legs are hugging that center line. Last two, again, inhale, round your shape back. Exhale, come forward, deepen the abs, the top of the head reaches to the wall in front of you one more time. Good, exhale, come all the way forward. Now this time, go ahead and take an inhale, round your shape all the way back onto the mat. Draw your knees into your chest as you do. And then again, take a second to rock back and forth. Now for your one leg circles, go ahead and bend your knees and place the feet flat on the mat. Now your legs open inner hip width, so they're open the width of your hip socket. The feet stay planted on the mat. The right knee will draw into your chest. Just take a moment to give it a little bit of a hug. Maybe aim it out towards your shoulder just slightly. Try to get into that hip flexor. And then when you're ready, go ahead and let your arms go long by your side. Press the palms into the mat, feel the chest open. Go ahead and rotate the heel inward and take that leg across the body, around, and then stop it in center. Again, cross the body and lift. Always stopping in the center. Your abs put on the brakes before you make that next full circle. Give me two more. Cross the body and lift. Last time. Good, stop in center. Now make sure you do that body check. Rotate the heel inward just a little more and then reverse it. Take it out a little, cross and lift. Good, you have four more, all while actively pressing the palms into the mat to open the chest nice and wide. Last two. Last time, go ahead and stop in the center, bend the knee into your chest, give it another little hug. And then place that foot down onto the mat, it's the left knee's turn to come into the chest. Go ahead and give it a little hug, aim it out towards your shoulder. And then go ahead and place your arms long by your side, lift the leg to the ceiling, rotate the heel inward and take the leg across the body. 
around, stop it in center. Good, it goes across the body and lift. Abs are pulling in and up. Now make sure that opposite knee stays towards the center line. It doesn't go outward last time. Good, stop it in center. Make sure you do that body check before you take the leg out, cross and lift. Good, it goes out a little, cross and lift. Again, everything is hugging that center line. Last two, good, last time. Good, go ahead and draw the left knee into your chest. Give it another little hug. Bring your right knee in to meet it. Maybe aim both knees out towards your shoulders. Try to get into the hip flexors. Use your biceps to pull the knee into you just a little bit. And then go ahead and bring your chin to your chest and rock yourself up to a seated position for rolling like a ball. So again, your hands come to right underneath your knees. The elbows are nice and wide. The feet lift up off the mat. The heels are glued together. The toes part. So the chin comes to your chest and you're diving your head in between the knees all while your abs are pulling back in opposition. So just teetering a little bit. You'll just teeter back just slightly. You'll feel your abs engage and then you rock yourself back up only to your sacrum. Again, teeter back just a teeny bit and then come right back up. You gotta fight for it. Again, rock it back just a tiny bit and then come back up. Good, let's do one more just like this. You'll teeter back and then you'll rock up. Now, if it's available to you and you would like to try, go ahead and take an inhale, rock back to just the tips of your shoulder blades and then exhale to lift up and pull, good. Again, inhale, rock it back. Exhale, lift up, draw the navel in, keep bringing the heels towards the bottom. Give me one more time. Again, inhale, rock it back. Exhale, lift up and hold, good. Go ahead and place the feet down. Move your bottom back just a little bit if you need to. And go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. Keep your feet on the mat and roll yourself all the way down. Good, draw the knees into the chest. And again, if you need to, just rock back and forth. Do what your body needs. Good, so getting into the ab series. Go ahead and lift your head, bring your chin to your chest. So throughout any of these exercises, if you need to lower your head onto the mat, you absolutely can. Listen to your body. So for single leg stretch, go ahead and place both your hands on your right shin, and then lengthen your left leg long to a very high 45. Good, so go ahead and use this opportunity just to curl up a little higher. Make sure you're gazing at your navel. Go ahead and take an exhale, draw the right knee into you, and then inhale and switch legs. Good, so it's an exhale, pull in, inhale and switch. Good, abs are pulling in and up. Go ahead and pick up the pace just a little bit. Good, so make sure the tailbone stays nice and anchored on the mat as you draw one knee in and lengthen the opposite leg away. You have three more on each side and you're breathing. You're exhaling to pull in, inhaling to switch. Good, last one when you go back to the right, last one on the left. Draw both knees into the chest, lower the head down for just a second. If you need to rock back and forth, absolutely take that opportunity right now to do so. When you're ready, go ahead and lift the head, bring the chin to the chest for your double leg stretch. So go ahead and take an inhale, reach your arms to the ceiling and lengthen your legs towards the ceiling as well. Go ahead and circle your arms around, exhale, draw the knees in towards your chest. Good, again, inhale, lengthen arms and legs. Circle the arms, exhale, anchor that tailbone when you draw the knees in. Again, inhale, reach, keep the abs pulling in and up, circle around. Let's do two more. When you lift up, make sure you're looking at the navel, deepen the abs to draw the knees in. One more time. Good, circle the arms, exhale, pull the knees and go ahead and again, lower the head down to the mat. Do what feels good for you right now. If you need to rock back and forth, you absolutely can. Go ahead and lift the head, bring the chin to the chest. Good, you're looking at the belly, this is scissors. So both legs will lift directly up to the ceiling and you'll place both hands behind the right thigh or calf. Flex both your feet and then double pull, pull the right leg to you as you scissor kick to switch, pull, pull left. So the opposite leg lengthens to about a high 45. That tailbone stays anchored and heavy on the mat as your abs draw the knee in towards you. Good, it's a pull, pull and switch. Abs are deepening, those elbows are nice and wide. Go back to the right for one more time. Go back to the left, both legs lift to the ceiling and then you'll draw in and lower down. Rock back and forth again if you need to do that. So go. So for lower lift, you can make a diamond shape with your hands and you can go ahead and place it right underneath your sacrum. So your knees draw into your chest. Once they draw into your chest, make sure your fingers are visible. Go ahead and bring your head, lift your head, bring your chin to your chest. 
good, your legs will lift directly up to the ceiling. So the heels glue together, the toes part. So your abs are pulling in and up, your legs are lengthening nice and long, and you'll lower your legs for three, two, one, and use your lower abdominals to lift them right back up to the ceiling. Good, so you'll lower, 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 and deepen the abs to lift. Good, so go ahead and take a deep inhale through the nose as you lower the legs, and then use your exhale to help lift the legs back up to the ceiling. Let's do two more, lower, and then lift with control. Good, again, keep that upper body nice and stable, and then lift back up, draw the knees into the chest. Lower the head down, take your hands out from underneath you and rock back and forth. And again, anytime you need to lower your head during these exercises, you absolutely can. So the last one is crisscross. Let's go ahead and bend your knees and place your feet on the mat for this one for a variation. So go ahead and lift the head, bring your chin to your chest. So your legs are actively hugging the center line. Your hands come right behind the back of your neck and your elbows are nice and wide, you're looking at your belly. Good, so go ahead and stay lifted with that upper body as you twist your torso to the right. So you're reaching your underarm, keeping those elbows nice and wide. So stay lifted as you come back to the center and then twist over to the left. Again, the elbows stay nice and wide, the abs are pulling in and up, center, and then twist and reach, good. It's your obliques here that you're working. Your knees stay nice and pressed together, your hips stay nice and stable, twist and reach. One more time, go back to the left, abs are pulling in and up. Good, go ahead and lower the head back down for just a quick second. So go ahead and draw the knees back into the chest and let's take it into a full crisscross. Go ahead and lift the head and bring the chin to the chest. Hands go behind the back of the head. So let your legs find a tabletop position first. So keep your legs here at tabletop. Legs are pressing together. So you'll do the same thing. You'll stay nice and lifted in the center and twist over to the right, reaching the underarm. Good. Stay lifted as you come back to the center and then twist and reach, reaching the underarm towards the bent knee. Good. Stay lifted and twist and reach. Good. Make sure that underarm is reaching. The elbow stays nice and wide. Good. Twist back to the left. Reach the opposite leg long. One more time on each side. Twist and reach. Keep pulling the abdominals in and up. Good. Go ahead and draw both knees in. Lower the head down. Go ahead and rock back and forth if you need to. Let's do a quick spinal twist as you place the feet down onto the mat. Open the feet and the legs, the width of the mat. Now go ahead and drop your legs over to the right and place your right foot on top of your left thigh. So the palms can face up to the ceiling and you can turn your head to the opposite side. So I want you to think about drawing that left hip down towards the mat as the right knee reaches towards the floor. The abs are still engaged. And then you'll go ahead and Bring the knees back to center, place the foot down, and then drop the knees over to the opposite side. Place the left foot on top of the right thigh and turn your head over to the opposite side. Again, palms still facing up to keep the chest nice and open. Good, and then you go ahead and bring the knees back up to the center. Draw the knees into the chest, place your hands on your shins. Again, give yourself a hug, feel your biceps, pull the knees into your chest. Bring your chin to your chest and then rock yourself up to a seated position for spine stretch forward. So your legs go long out in front of you and then they open a little bit wider than the width of your mat. Your arms will come up, shoulder height, shoulder width. So your feet are nice and flexed, the toes drawing back towards your nose. Your fingers are long, you're nice and lifted. So you'll take an inhale as you maintain that straight spine. Bring your chin down to your chest and on the exhale you reach forward. Good, dropping the head, reaching the top of the head towards the mat as your abs pull back in opposition to your reach. Now take an inhale and start to stack your spine from the bottom up. Exhale once your head lifts up. Again, inhale, lift up nice and tall. Draw the chin to the chest and on the exhale, reach it forward. Good, feel your navel draw back in opposition as your fingers are reaching towards the wall in front of you. Take an inhale and start to stack everything up. The head is the last thing to come up as you exhale. Let's do two more. Again, inhale. Chin to the chest, exhale, good, reach it forward. Keep pulling the abs in, gliding the shoulders down the back. Take an inhale and start to stack everything up like you're going right up against the wall. Exhale, once the head lifts, one more time again, inhale. Chin comes down, exhale, reach it forward. Make sure the top of the head is reaching towards the mat. The abs pull back in opposition, the shoulders glide down the back. Take an inhale and start to stack everything up, one vertebrae at a time. Great, lower your arms down by your side. Bring your legs together and go ahead and roll yourself all the way back down onto the mat. Good. Bring your knees.
knees into your chest. Again, if you need to, rock back and forth. So for corkscrew, you'll, again, you'll go ahead and make that diamond shape with your hands. Place it right underneath your sacrum and bring your knees back into your chest. Now your head stays down for this one. Your chest stays nice and open. You'll lift the legs to the ceiling and glue the heels together and part the toes. So the abs are pulling in and up. You'll go ahead and draw the legs into the center of the body and then circle them to the right, all the way around to the left. Stop and center before you make your next circle. You'll go to the left, around to the right. Go ahead, stop and center. Feel the abs draw the legs into you as you go to the opposite side. Now make sure that opposite shoulder stays down onto the mat as you circle the legs. Go ahead, deepen the abdominals. Keep the lower abdominals engaged as you circle. The chest stays open, the shoulders don't round forward. Good, and left. Abs pull in and up. Let's do one more on each side, Jill. Keep deepening the abdominals. The legs are nice and long last time. Draw the legs in towards the center line. Good, bend your knees. Go ahead and take the feet, the hands out from underneath you. The feet go to the mat. Good, go ahead and bring the knees into your chest. And then rock yourself up to a seated position. For saw. Again, your legs go long. They open the width of the mat or a little wider. Your feet are flexed. Your arms come out into a V. So you're nice and tall and lifted. So you'll take an inhale and then on the exhale, twist towards the right. Go ahead and bring your chin to your chest as you reach that left pinky beyond the right baby toe. Now that left hip draws back in opposition to your reach. Take an inhale and come to center. And on the exhale, you'll twist to the left. Use that exhale to twist a little deeper as you twist and reach. Now that right hip draws back, the abs pull in and up. And you'll take another inhale as you come to the center and then twist back to the right. Good, your arms are reaching long. That back palm presses into the center line. Take an inhale, stack the spine, lift up nice and tall, and then twist to the left. And exhale, good. Reaching beyond that left pinky toe, deepening the abs, bringing that right hip back. Let's do one more on each side as an inhale. Use that exhale to twist a little deeper. The hips stay forward as you twist the torso. Good, inhale, stack the spine, and exhale, twist and reach. Go ahead and lift the spine, stack up nice and straight. Lower your arms down by your side. Bring your legs together. Let's turn over onto our stomach for swan. Good, so for swan, your legs are long behind you. Your arms come, your one hand goes over the other into a pillow. So your forehead goes directly onto this pillow. I want you to feel your legs pressing together, the hips anchoring into the mat and your abs pulling in and up. So you'll take a deep inhale and lift the head, heart, and hands off the mat, gliding the shoulders down the back, extending the upper spine. And then you'll slowly exhale as you lower all the way down. Make sure those, sto those toes stay planted on the mat. Again, inhale, lift head, heart, and hands. Abs are pulling in and up. Shoulders glide down the back. And then exhale, lower everything down with control. Let's do two more times. Again, inhale, lift head, heart, and hands. Abs pull in and up. And then use that exhale to lower down one more time. Again, inhale, head, heart, and hands lift up. Legs are long, toes are planted, and then you'll exhale all the way down. Good, so stay exactly how you are with your head right on this pillow and nice and glued for your single leg kick. So again, your legs are lengthening nice and long behind you. You'll go ahead and take your right heel and kick it in towards your bottom twice. So it's a kick, kick. Let your right leg lengthen, and then the left leg comes in and kick, kicks. Good, so your buttocks is nice and tight right now. The back of the legs are nice and tight. The hips are stable and anchored to the mat. Good, abs are pulling in and up. Kick, kick, and lengthen. Deepening those abdominals. Let's do one more time on the right. Kick, kick, and then lengthen that leg. Kick, kick, left. Good, lengthen both legs long. Now go ahead and place your hand palms right underneath your shoulders, and then sit yourself back into an active rest pose. So go ahead and connect the heels together, toes apart. Open the knees, the width of the torso, and sit your bottom back towards your heels. All while your arms are long, they're pressing into the mat, and you're rounding that upper back towards the ceiling, really pulling your abs in. So anytime you're stretching in Pilates, you're always staying active in those abdominals. Good, so go ahead and walk your hands back towards your knees. Stack your spine, sit up nice and tall. Now let's go ahead and turn over onto your left side for sidekick series. So you're lining the back of your body up with the back edge of your mat. 
So as Jill will demonstrate, your arm can either go, your arm can bend, the head can go in the hand, or if you need to, you can lengthen the arm long and place your head on your bicep. So no matter where you are, that top hand will come in front of you, pressing down into the mat, and those legs will come out in front of you at an angle. So really use that top hand to press into the mat and rotate the hips forward to keep the hips nice and square. So you'll lift that top leg up, only hip height with the flex foot, and then you'll double kick, kick it towards your shoulders. Now keep it flexed and only bring it back in line with that bottom leg. So you kick, kick, flex, bring it back in line. Good. So abs are pulling in and up as you do this. The hips are square, the shoulders are nice and stacked. Abs keep pulling in and up. Let's do one more, kick, kick and then bring it back. So now bring it back in line with that bottom leg. Flex your foot, good. Really reach out of the heel. Try to make that top leg longer than your bottom leg and go ahead and lift it up for three, two, one, not too high, point the toe and then lower the leg down. Good, so with the flex to lift, feel that outer thigh work and then as you point to lower, use that inner thigh. You have three more. Good, point and lower. Keep pulling the abdominals in and up, making sure those hips are nice and squared. Good. Last time, lower it down, flex, lift, and point to lower. Good, now keep the toes pointed and lift on one. Flex through the heel and drag that leg down with control. Good, so as a point and lift, flex to lower. Feel the inner thigh engage as you point and lift. Remember, every time you lower, you're trying to make that top leg longer than the bottom leg. Good, let's do one more time. Point your toe, lift the leg, flex lower all the way down. Now hold the flex, maybe lengthen the leg a little longer, lift it a little higher, and now start to make circles with that leg. Circles initiated from the hip joint. So they're only about dinner plate size circles. Abs keep pulling in, let's do three more, two, and one. Now stop and reverse your circle. Nice parallel leg here that you're working with. Don't let the toes turn up, everything's nice and stacked. Last three, two, and one, go ahead and lift the leg up to the ceiling, bend your knee, place the knee foot in front of the bottom thigh. Now, if you need to, you can also lower the leg down to the mat if you need to do that. If you're not, go ahead and hold the, the ankle from the inside and then lift the bottom leg up with a flexed foot. So it's nice and flexed, you'll lift it up, up towards the ceiling and only lower halfway down. So it's a lift, lift. Use that inner thigh, really engage it as you lift up, up, and then lower it halfway down. Good, abs are pulling in and up. Last two. Good, last time, lift it up. Now hold it up. If you can hold it there, make your circles from this height. Circle for five, good, abs are pulling in and up. Add one, reverse your circles, keep lengthening that leg, flexing from the ankle. Last three, two, and one. Lower this leg all the way down to the mat. Go ahead and bring your top leg to meet your bottom leg. Turn over onto your stomach, doing some heel beats on your stomach. So you make that pillow with your hands again, place the forehead down, legs are lengthening nice and long, heels are together, toes are apart. So go ahead and lift the legs slightly off the mat. They stay nice and straight. And you'll go ahead and beat your heels together for eight. Good, legs are long, abs are pulled in. Last four, three, two, and one. Lower everything down with control, and then you'll turn over onto the opposite side. So I believe that's the right side we're going on to now. <clears throat> so again, your body lines up with the backage of the mat. The head goes in the hand. You can bring your legs out to that angle. Go ahead and make sure that you press into that top hand, rotate the hips just a little bit forward to keep them squared. Lift that top leg with a flex foot, but really reach through the heel, and then double kick, kick it forward, and then you sweep it back. Good, so you'll kick, kick forward, deep in the abs, so you're only going back to the point of your control to keep those hips nice and stacked and squared. Last two. Keep pulling the abdominals in, last time. Kick, kick forward, sweep it back. Now bring that leg right in line with the bottom leg. Flex your foot. Same thing, really press out of the heel. Lengthen that leg even longer than the bottom and start to lift it up for three. Two, one, point your toe and then immediately lower. Good, so you're really working with a nice parallel leg here. Good, flex to lift and point to lower down. Last two, abs are pulling in and up. <clears throat> Make sure those hips are nice and squared. Good, now hold the point on the toe. Lift it on one, flex through the heel, lower it, make it longer than that bottom leg. Keep deepening the abdominals. Good, last three, point and lift, flex to lower. Last two, last time, point and lift, flex and lower. Now keep it lifted, good, and start to make circles with that top leg. Again, they're initiated from your hip socket. The abs are pulling in and they're only about dinner plate size. Now reverse your circles. Good. 
reaching through the heel, making that leg nice and long. Last three, two, and one. Lift that top leg up, bend the knee, place the foot in front of the bottom thigh. Again, you can lower that knee to the mat if you need to. Go ahead and hold that ankle from the inside, and then to go ahead and lift that bottom leg up with a flex foot, so you'll lift it only up, up, and lower it halfway down. Good, so the foot stays nice and flexed. You're lengthening the leg nice and long. Good and lower again as a lift, lift, lower halfway, last two, good, last time, lift and hold, now if you can hold it here, make your circles from here, challenge yourself, lengthen that leg, really reach out of the heel as you make these circles, and then reverse your circles, good, keep opening the chest, making sure everything's nice and squared, and then lower the leg down, bring the top leg to meet the bottom, and go ahead and turn over onto your back for a figure four stretch. Good, so you'll draw both knees into your chest. You'll place your right ankle over the left thigh and you'll feed your hands through the leg. Good, so as you draw that right knee or the left knee into your chest, you'll press the left away slightly with the forearm. You can use your breath as well. So go ahead and take an inhale and on the exhale, you'll draw the knee into you as you gently press the right away. Let's do one more again, inhale. And then exhale, pull in as you press away and then you'll switch legs very gently and carefully. Good. So remember your breathing. Again, inhale and then exhale. Pull in as you press that left thigh away now. Good, two more breaths. Inhale and then exhale. Make sure everything's nice and even. You're not leaning towards one side or the other. One more time. And then exhale. Good. So go ahead and uncross the legs. Just bring the knees into the chest and rock back and forth for just a second. Ready for your teasers. So go ahead and bend your knees. Place your feet flat on the mat. So like Jill here, make sure that your heels are away from your bottom. They're closer to the front edge of your back. Good. Your arms are long by your side. Your knees and legs are pressed together. So go ahead and extend your right leg long so your knees are connected and glued together. So you'll go ahead and lift the arms up to the high diagonal. You'll take an inhale, lift the head, bring the chin to the chest. And on the exhale, you'll peel your spine up, coming up into a teaser. So you want to make sure your chest is pulled through your arms, your abs are pulling in and up. And then you'll go ahead and take an inhale, bring the chin down to your chest and place your spine one vertebrae down at a time as you lower down. Now, if you can't get up here into the full teaser like Jill did, all you need to do is keep reaching your arms and your fingers long. So you'll go ahead and take an inhale, bring your chin to your chest as your arms reach to the high diagonal. And if you can't peel yourself up, you just keep reaching. If you're here, your chest is open. Your fingers are reaching towards your toes. You're pulling your chest through. So again, inhale, drop the chin down. Exhale, place your spine down one vertebrae at a time. Lower the arms one more time. Arms lift up. Inhale, lift the head, bring the chin to the chest. Exhale, deepen the abs, open the chest. Beautiful. Again, inhale, bring the chin down. Pull the navel to the spine and roll the shape all the way down. Arms go by your side. Now your right foot will lower and the left leg will lengthen. Knees glued together. Same thing, your arms lift up to that high diagonal. The shoulders are drawing down the back. Take an inhale, lift the head, bring the chin to the chest and exhale, peel the spine up. Once you're here, feel the chest pull through the arms. Be proud that you got here. Go ahead and take an inhale, drop the chin down, and exhale, place the spine one vertebrae at a time, all the way down. You have two more times. Inhale, arms will reach up to that high diagonal. Lift the head, bring the chin to the chest, and peel the spine up. Good, there's a slight curl in the tailbone. The lower abdominals are pulling in. And go ahead and inhale, and slowly lower all the way down in the exhale. This is your last one, make it your best. Again, inhale, arms come up to that high diagonal, chin comes to the chest. Peel the spine up, good. Arms reach long, legs are reaching nice and long, the chest pulls through. Go ahead and inhale, drop the chin down, lower everything down, one vertebrae at a time. That left leg will lower, both knees come into your chest, and you'll rock yourself up to a seated position. Four, seal. So seal is another rolling exercise. So you'll bring your bottom towards the front edge of the mat. So you make a prayer position with your hands. You'll dive it between your legs and then go ahead and take a hold of the outside of the ankle. So the heels are together, the toes are apart. Feel your forearms press into the thighs and the thighs press into the forearms. The chin comes down and you're in a nice round shape. 
So you'll go ahead and again, just like we did with rowing like a ball, teeter back just slightly, feel your abs engage, and then only go back to that sweet spot. Again, teeter back slightly, and then rock yourself back to where you started. One more time, teeter back just a little bit, and then come back. Now, if it's available to you, go ahead and take an inhale and rock your shape back to the tips of your shoulder blades. Exhale, lift up and hold. Good, again, fight for that. Again, inhale, rock it back. Good, exhale, lift up and hold. Good, we're always in that round position. Really hug that midline as you rock the shape back. Good, exhale, come up and stay right there one more time. Inhale, rock it back. Good, stay right here. Good, keep pulling the abs in. Go ahead and place your feet down on the mat. Let go of your feet. Bring your arms around and then go ahead and come onto your hands and knees. <clears throat> Good. So make sure that your wrists are in line with your shoulders, your knees are over your hips, going into some planks. Now once we get into a plank position, if you need to lower down into your forearms, you absolutely can do that. Do what's best for you. So you'll go ahead and lengthen your right leg long behind you, place the toes onto the mat, and then go ahead and lengthen the left leg long behind you, coming into a plank. So your legs are actively pressing together, and I want you to feel your pubic bone curl up towards your belly button, and your belly button pull up towards your rib cage. Good, so your abs are pulling in and up and you're holding this plank position. And then you'll go ahead and drop the right knee down to the mat and bring the left knee down as well. Good, so now the left leg goes out long, the toes go down and the right leg follows. So again, the heels are lifted high, the legs are actively pressing together and everything's curling up towards the rib cage. Good, you want to feel the hands press into the mat and then you'll bring the right knee down and the right and the left will follow. So let's go ahead and lengthen the right leg long and the left leg will go out long too. So you're holding the plank here. Again, your lower abdominals are engaged. Abs are pulling in and up. So now I want you to go ahead and pike the hips up towards the ceiling if that's available to you and walk the hands back towards the feet, nice and slow. Good, so once you're there, I want you to just hang for just a second. Feel your shoulders start to roll back. Pull your navel towards your spine. Keep those lower abdominals engaged as you start to roll the spine up to a standing position. Nice and slow. Your head is always the last thing to come up. Good. Go ahead and feel your chest open. The shoulders roll back. Your head lifts up. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and take an inhale. Reach the arms to the ceiling. Feel your tailbone lengthen towards the ground. And then bow forward from the hips. Make sure your butt doesn't stick out. Your hands will find the mat. And you'll go ahead and walk out into a plank position. Good. This is your last plank. Make it your best. Your legs are together. The feet are together. Again, everything's curling up towards the rib cage. The abs are pulling in and up. Good. You're one long line, one strong piece of steel. Let's go ahead and again pike the hips up towards the ceiling. Good. And walk the hands back towards the feet. And this time, just let everything hang. Let your arms hang. Your abs are still engaged. And if you're able to, make dangly arm circles. So I want you to feel gravity take control and just let your arms circle back and forth. And now reverse your circles when you're ready. Good. Let your shoulders plug in. And then you'll start to peel the spine up. Again, one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the head up. Good. Go ahead and just take an inhale. Reach your arms to the ceiling. Feel your shoulders glide down your back. Good. Turn the palms. Let them face the wall. And as you exhale, press the walls away as you grow taller. And you are all done for the day.